Tropical development likely this weekend in the Southern Gulf. Jeff Hoffman here from the Storm Center. Latest on this will be more clear when the hurricane hunters fly out Saturday afternoon. We're looking at likely just a tropical disturbance right now or a wave of low pressure. But once they find a center of circulation and a closed low, we could be talking about a depression. It's certainly any additional data that the hurricane hunters uh, get Saturday afternoon should help with some of the forecast modeling of this system. Here are the takeaways right now. Now, development is likely by Monday in the Southern Gulf, and it's most likely headed to Florida. We have all forecast data suggesting that this area of interest will move in our direction, but its exact tra track and strength is still a bit unknown. There is the potential for heavy rain. There will be a flood risk near and south of that exact track. Here's what we're looking at right now. Just an area of thunderstorms that flare up and then go away. And you can see a little bit of broad rotation developing here, but we really don't have much in the way of pressure falls just yet. But watch this. Water temperatures are very warm, especially right here in the Yucatan Channel. And as I show you future track, this is a future track of winds, uh, a vorticity, all right, the spin in the atmosphere. And when you see these closed circles and those arrows, in a circular motion there, it indicates an area of low pressure. So starting Sunday, we could have something to watch here. And then here's where it could be on Monday, sitting over the very warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, a couple of hundred miles west of Tampa. And then Monday into Tuesday, it would move in the direction of North Florida. Now, if it lingers over the water a little longer, it's going to likely move a little further to the north. If the upper level winds are a little faster, uh, it's going to move faster to the east and southeast and be a weaker system. So still some question marks. Are we going to be dealing with a very weak tropical storm or maybe a strong tropical storm? And it's not out of the question it could briefly become a weak hurricane, but those are low chances as of right now. Here's future track. The heaviest rain will be across southwest Florida Monday morning, spreading into north Florida and Central Florida Monday night and the heaviest will occur when the area of low pressure nears the nature coast Tuesday afternoon and then it all moves out Tuesday night and Wednesday. Good news is this is going to be a progressive system. It's not going to stall because of that approaching front. Bad news is it could be quite intense for a few hours when those rain bands are coming through. Total rainfall, the gradient will range from 5 inches to maybe 6 or 7 in a few localized spots in central Florida to about 3 or 4 in north Florida. Then it's going to taper off dramatically as you move into the panhandle on the north and west side of the system. Stay tuned for updates. Download that mobile app, Florida Storms. We've got you covered all weekend long.